Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video we have episode 5 of the free to play adventures So if you are new, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos on the channel And also follow my Twitter down in the description down below to stay updated when I do upload But getting into the video, we have just taken our Mike Mazowski all the way to rank 3 He definitely deserves it. He's currently a 2 star So I do hope to get him as a 3 star. He's definitely worth it He's my favourite guardian to use currently on this account So moving on, we actually have a 3 star crystal to open here Hoping to get someone decent and we do actually get ourselves a free star Mike Mazowski. Now, if you have watched my past episodes, I've always gone on about Mike Mazowski and how I want him above a two star. Originally, I had him as a one star, then I got him up to a two star, and now we have him as a three star. So here we have the Elizabeth Swan crystals. Now, I want to get five of these in total. That gives me a guaranteed one star version of her, and I can take her all the way up to a four star or even above on this free to play account, like I did with King Trident. Now, the event quest actually got nerfed. Now, I won't be able to get her up as a five star but even as a three or four star she'll still put in the work but here you can see we actually got ourselves an elizabeth swan as a two star now this gives us a huge push it's my second ever crystal i opened for her and i actually got her so in this video i'm going to be taking her all the way up doing all the side quests to get her up all the way to a three star up to potentially level 40 in this episode you can see here we're just putting all of our resources into her taking her up as far as possible and we can actually get her up to level 14 so after I've done this, she's currently level 14 and we go into the event quest and actually take down the opponents. Now she is so good. She's one of the best ranged guardians in the game. When I do make my tier list, I'm definitely going to rank her right at the top. Just a spoiler right there, she's S tier guaranteed. She's just so good. Her burst damage is amazing. And this was so, so easy. This was only a level 14 and we already have her going all the way up to level 20 and to rank 3. So we take her right now all the way to rank 3. And we got some resources from the event quest, which is so good. The amount of moats you actually get from there is just amazing. So we can go all the way up to level 30 straight away. That takes her to 621 power rating. And she's going to put in the work when it comes to the A2 on the normal difficulty. Now this fight as well was very simple. It was a little bit annoying with the healing bombs that appear on the floor. But once you've got the timing right just to get all your enemies away from it. And you can actually hit it and gain that healing. This fight was very simple in the end. I did cut it a little bit close towards the end. I did get a little bit hit by that aerial. But after all, it was a very simple fight. And we got ourselves another two-star version of Elizabeth Swan. As well as some rank up materials. Now doing this actually got me to a three-star. So she's currently as a three-star. And then I got the resources to take her all the way to rank four. And we're going to put in all of these XP moats and she will be level 39. Just like my kid Trident was when I first took him up, level 39. I'm going to get her to level 40. But look at them. They're both featured guardians on my top guardians on my profile. Over 1000 power rating. A beautiful boost. And she is my new top range guardian. So moving on here, we have 5.10. This is in the normal difficulty of the story mode. After taking up Elizabeth Swan, this fight was very simple. I got this done really quickly. She's just absolutely absolutely nukes the opponents once you get 10 of those zeal charges she's just going to be destroying the opponents with all of those cannons coming from the sky and you can see we got it done in no time it took about three minutes normally it would take me like five minutes so she does really help getting these fights down so completing chapter five gives us chapter six we also get a stellar crystal from the achievements which is always nice a guaranteed two star from there you never get anything else from that We've got some glowing crystals to claim as well. So we're going to start with the glowing crystal. We actually have six here, hoping for some new guardians. And we start off with a brand new guardian. We start with a one-star Tiana. Not a bad pull. New guardians are always appreciated on the free to play. So moving on, we've got a one-star Snow White. That's also good as well. Another new guardian is always good. Moving on for the third one, we get a Jack Sparrow as a one star. I'll take the Stardust from that. Opening up the next one, we also get another dupe. This is on Maleficent. That's another one star. So she's currently as a three star. She will definitely help towards the story mode. And then we also get ourselves a two star aerial. So I love the Stardust and also the star rating does help get her up. She is my most powerful melee guardian currently. And then moving on to the last one, we also get a new guardian and it's going to be a one star Maui. Now Maui is a great guardian, an amazing tank to use. He gains so much armor, so he could be a potential option in the future. So we have the stellar crystal here. What are we going to get from this? Let me know down below. And it's going to be a two star Maleficent. What did you expect from that? Well, it's always going to be the same. It's always going to be rubbish. So that is it for today's episode. We got ourselves a two star Elizabeth Swan. And we took her all the way to rank four. And we got her to a three star. So if you did like this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.